Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square coming at you with another CSS tutorial. This week I'd like to show you how to customize the horizontal line in your Squarespace website. The horizontal line is a simple part of code that looks pretty much the same in every Squarespace website. And a lot of people like to change the color of it and the thickness of the line, but I've got a couple of other cool tricks to show you too. So let's take a look at this code. Let's say you just wanna change the color of it. All we need to do is change the hex code for the background here. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to copy the sample code and I'm going to navigate to the custom CSS section of this website by selecting design and then custom CSS. Here I'll paste the code I just copied and you'll see the color has actually changed. Now you can edit these six numbers right here to whatever hex code matches your brand or website colors. Now let's say you want to change the height. You'd actually like the line to be a little bit thicker. I'm going to copy this code right here and paste it into my custom CSS. You'll notice now the lines are, are eight pixels in height. Now, one really important part I wanna mention is we're overriding the custom or cascading style sheet for Squarespace. So we need to really emphasize that this is super important by literally typing out exclamation point important after the pixel height that we'd like the line to be. Following so far? Awesome, let's get into the cool tricks. There are actually three different styles of line that you can create by playing around with borders. I'm gonna copy this code right here and paste it into the custom CSS. And now we can see we're back to the regular line, slightly thicker, but a solid line. That's because of this word right here that says solid. Now let's say I'd like to change that to a dotted line. If I literally type the word dotted instead of solid, you'll see I actually get these little points now. We can also do a dashed line by typing the word dashed into that space in the code. And now you'll see the line has almost a coupon cutting dash, if you will, at least that's what I like to call it. All right, let's get into some cool tricks. How do we make this line striped? We're going to copy this code here and paste it into the custom CSS. And now you'll see, I actually have a really neat stripe effect going on with the colors. I've made the line a little bit thicker by adding this 10 pixel height of a border. And we've changed the background color to this dark pink and the dash on top of it in this lighter pink, creating a really cool striped effect. Again, this is the lighter color on top, and this is the darker pink on the bottom. All right, I've got one more effect for you. I'd like to show you how to create a double line. I'm gonna copy this code and paste it into the custom CSS. And now you'll see we have two different lines. Both of the lines are five pixels in width. The color on the bottom is the background of the line, and the color on the top is the top border. So when you're customizing this code for your own website, border top is the line that you change for what's actually sitting on top of the line, and this background color is what's on the bottom. So there you have it. There's some neat codes for customizing the horizontal line on your Squarespace website. All of these codes are beneath the video and available on my blog at insidethesquare.co. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website.